going? What? No, I actually changed it, yeah? And then, it, I don't know Quantum why, it doesn't e-sports. do it. Allow it, allow it, allow it. Do you want me to host the game? Yes. Alright, 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 shut up then. Go, go play. Go do your things. Get Fragmite out. Now, uh, I've got my man Adam here. Adam, you've played with him quite a bit. Uh, how uh, how are yeah, you saying this is going to go? I don't know, man. Uh, to, to be honest, I haven't played with them all at the same time. Uh, yeah. Not too sure. The other team look like they've uh, got better ranked, which it doesn't really mean too much. but It doesn't mean much really when it comes to this sort of stuff. No. In the end, a good strat can win it. Um, what specs do you use? I have a GeForce GTX 1660 with an i5 3606 core processor. Are you and Adam commentating or just recording void? Uh, we can do some commentating if you want that, Manny. You want some commentating shit going on, Manny, yeah. Uh, now I wonder, obviously you got Jeggy on the Ash doing the uh, fragger things that he does. I wonder if we're going to see Fragmite come out today, but look, oh yep, there it is, Fragmite is coming out, baby. I feel like if Jeggy don't get uh, fraggy, like frags, this team's going to fall apart, to be honest. Uh... They don't know what to do once they lose the Spearhead. Yeah, I, I mean, he is their um, thingy, whatever it's called. I had a brain fart. It'll come to me in a minute. Commentate, you did a great job. All right, I'll commentate it for you. I want to see... So, this did confuse me, actually. See, I didn't actually read Llama. Uh, I kind of got a bit confused, so that did confuse me. Obviously, you got Llama on the Capital. That's probably to see if they can get the plant down. Um, well, I'm just gonna watch your stream because it's uh too laggy on the thingy. Yeah, you're just gonna watch my stream, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's you. Now, obviously, you've got the uh, aviator and um, aviator and games room coming out. First person view from both rooms, from both teams. Why did I say rooms? Yeah, we could try to get that in a bit more. No, I wonder if they are going to get a cam 90. Swag during rank the other day and unranked, he did like a cam in 90. It was a bit a bit every time he went in a cam 90. It looks like you got smoke playing the uh, top of red stairs. Now, uh, Quantum are going to be doing the same push that they have done for the last two to three scrims they have played on Villa. Of course, pushing through Trophy and Master Bedroom up that way. Um, however, they obviously don't know that there is a Jaeger sat there. You see the Jaeger here, he's coming out with a bit of a free but he's got two drones on him. Hitting, uh, hitting Jeggy up for a bit and obviously still going around and holding the same peak. He's got three people there. I wonder if he'll know. And there you are. The two frags coming through from that push. That is the reason of that push. It gets rid of the rumours. I know that when I room, I sit in that corner and I hide like a little bitch. Now obviously you got here Maestro holding his cams. He's probably going to go for plant denial. Um, that is kind of the smartest thing to do. And then you got Smoke here uh, holding the 90. It's been a pretty solid push though so far. Uh, 
It looks like they're going to try to get 90 control now. This smoke's going to try to do what he can do. However, I don't think he's going to be able to do much. He's running, of course, a shotgun and SMG. Me too. Cool, man. Now, of course, you do have one in sight and then one on 90. Um, Bandit are doing what he can do there. Obviously, they've opened up the breach now onto a vault, um, which is not seen that often. It's now down to a 2v2. Could they put it back? I won't. I won't do wonder. And that was unlucky there. Obviously, Bandit just got the angle on him, and you know, rotated quick enough. I do wonder what Llama's play here will be. Will it be to just hold the angle and hope they push out of sight? Or will he try and push just push the site and rotate through this way? And that is unlucky. It is a win for the defenders first round of this game. Which does decide sort of how the rest of the game will play. Whether the uh, quantum team have to change their play style. Or whether Reapers perhaps played that better than they did. Now, the Lord Woods here are very bandit based, I guess you could say. Now, um, whether this is how they usually play, or it could just be, you know, that was a good round for him. Obviously, you did have three people get picked off really quickly at the start of the round, which did sort of delay it all for the rest of the team. But this get, but this game doesn't really rely on kills like other games. It's uh, very much a defender and a strat based game. I wonder how they're going to push this. Uh, in past scrims, we have seen them push through Aviator and Study and push through that way. Um, but I do wonder how they're going to push this. May they have one go Astra or even, you know, one providing some sort of pressure from uh, Master Bedroom. We don't really know. We'll sort of find that out in a couple seconds here. Looks like they are going to be doing a Study side push though from the camp basement. You've got one Aviator. And 190 stairs, I believe. And of course, then you have the Vigil Saturn games. Doing what Vigil does best, which is roaming them, getting off a couple kills. You also have Jaeger there, Saturn game. Uh, Aviator. I I gotta say I do like watching Jeggy plays. He plays the game very, very smooth. I like to say. And you got of course Jeggy doing the entry fragger stuff he does, pushing in first. And that is unlucky. Uh, Wallbangs of course did have the pre fire on him and knew exactly where he could have been. And then Lama also, does he get the kill though? Yeah, I believe he does. He gets the kill with Jaeger. However, I believe he got knocked by him. So it is an exchange from him. And you've got Dan here. He's waiting to try and push in. But however, he's got to play it very carefully. And that is, that is of course, it's now a 3v3. That kill from Swagger using Thermite does even it out. You've got Tom's riding pressure on the trophy door window.
Now if you got, you got swag on red stairs. Doesn't really look like he's doing anything though, to be perfectly honest. He looks like he's just kind of just sat there holding it. You've got Dan with the down though on the smoke. This could delay their plant. You've got Swag doing what he does, knowing that the one was going to rotate round to red stairs. It's now 1v1. Now Swag is going to go for the plant, but is he going to stick it? Yep, he's stuck it. And that is it, the plant is down. Now, does he know he's going to push? And there he is, and there is Swag with the kill, winning the round with the second round of the scrim, bringing out Fragmite to play. Now you've got, of course, Quantum coming up with the same ops every round. This is the ops they have sort of been told to play, I'd say. Uh, they work with the strats they do, and everyone's very comfortable with their ops. I've, I've seen Tom change over the last couple of days and weeks, I'd say. He's, he's gone from an Ash main to a Sophia main, and it's it's very nice to see from him. And he can do just as much damage as you can with Sophia along with Ash. You've got, I've, I've always seen Swag play Thermite, never seen him without him. Him and Thurm might have some sort of special bond that I don't understand. Attackers need to locate and defuse bomb. Now they are going to have to go to the same site, unfortunately. They could go in kitchen, but I think they're going to hold it here. I have one more round on here before then rotating back around to quit kitchen. You've got the same ops, however, you do have a pulse instead. Um. But either had a mice or like, who do they swap out? It was a bandit for a pulse. This could be very good. Both operators have a C4. Um, pulse can provide that bit more intel though. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to go. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. Now they are going to be doing the same push, of course, or are they? No, they're not. They're going to be doing a different push. Uh, they're going to push up to the balcony. Uh, sort of annoying that you have the vigil sat in aviator hoping they'll come that way. Now you've got three people out. They're each on each window. You've got Jiggy of course downstairs. Maybe pushing through kitchen try and catch the pulse off guard. Now you of course you've got Tom holding the angles. Locating. Just sort of. Uh, giving them a bit of pressure. No, that is uh, that if they do come into view, then he is going to kill them. You've got, of course, a nice nice shot there from Lama towards uh, Wallbangs. And, of course, you have got a fight going downstairs, so against Pulse, trying to rat him out, see if you can give, kill him. And Pulse is rotating back up, all the way up to top red. Probably going to go inside. Let's see what type of peak Tom here has. He has one going straight into sight, which is actually quite a nice peak. Um, it's very much, you know, it's kind of one that everyone does kind of hold, which is very nice to see. And there you have Jeggy with the kill. Yeah, that is one of their key members right out, I'd say. And this is what Jeggy does. He goes around and he clears the people of sight. He's a very good entry fragger. However, he can do a lot of damage not doing entry fragger stuff, which is really nice to see. That, that post earlier, Maestro's realised that Jeggy is trying to push up Astro's stairs while they are getting contact come through and they are able to get the wall up. You got Tom, of course, just holding that really tight angle. He knows that someone could be there, but it's just a matter of will they get bored and will they try to peek it. And Tom just comes off the peak at the wrong time. That is just 
for your time and welcome to Rainbow Six Siege. You've got Swag coming in through that first frag and he is just downed by the Maestro. Maestro's gun is very good at that. He is more of a body shot up. It's nice to get a headshot with him, but you can just get a kill just by aiming for the body. Now, of course, they are going to have to go dining in kitchen now. Um, it's probably one of the harder sites to play, I'd say. If you've got a lot of room to play up top and below. Um, the vertical play is often the way to go, though, on this site, which is often nice to see. I wonder if they will take that on board, though, and if they are going to take the vertical play. Now, of course, you've got Smoke there losing the utility of his shotgun to make some little rotates. That is kind of Smoke's job during Pepper. Oh, Mute, sorry. That is his kind of job. Or anyone with a shotgun, you're already. I'd play Fuse on this site. Honestly, Fuse would be a very good shout. If you can get above, and if you can lock down above, you could probably do a lot of site. It's quite a small site. Yeah, one Fuse can probably do a lot of damage, to be honest. That's a very good play. Now, of course, you've got three people spawning over at Fountain, and I assume the other two are going to be at Ruins. Um, I wonder if they're going to try to do a sort of a pushing together to kind of lock them into sight. Uh, you've got Jaeger here upstairs. He had, Dan has joined them out, though, so he knows where he could be. Perhaps he could go get a sniff, sniff track on him and uh, play that sort of game on him. Jaggy pushing in. Now that they are going to be caught on behind, Jeggy is going to get killed um, while Dan was running. That is rather unfortunate, actually. But that is a very good pick from Jaeger, which could uh, which could win him the round. Of course, here if you look at the leaderboard, you see Swag coming out with the Fragmite. And that is two kills now with the Jaeger. You've got Llama and Toms on the 90. You also have Pulse lurking downstairs. Uh, doing what Pulse does, really. Um, I wonder if they will see him, though, when they're pushing down Red Stairs. And there is about to be a conflict here between Llama and Llama. does get the kill, eliminating the Roman Jaeger. No, that is a good point to mo notice. Tomorrow, uh, the teams aren't allowed to use any skins. Um, now you got Llama, of course, pushing down the stairs, doing what he does. And then you have Swag and Tom upstairs. Tom using Sophia to the best of the ability. Obviously, you've got your two impacts and two concussions with her, which are very good. And then you have Tom dropping the hatch, and it is now down to a 2v1, a 1v3, sorry. Um, now let's see what Swag's going to do. Swag did drop the hatch. Now let's see how he's going to push it. He saw Maestro's head there, but he was just unable to get the kill on him. I feel like that was a very weird, like, weird shot Maestro had. It was very tough for Swag to try and get that. Um, you'd have had pinpoint accuracy, I reckon, to try and get that shot. Now it is round 5 in this game, and it is 3-1 down to Quantum. Now we did see this the other day with their game, actually. They came back from a 3-1. I think they 
nearly drawn, they drew the game, uh, which is very nice to see. So we know they can put it back. And uh, this is the final round of attack as well, which is nice. You do have the six Piccolo, Malusi to Bandit. Um, there is games where you are going to need electric there, uh, if because it is available to get that wall, and that can lead to a uh, a game winning. Now, uh, of course, you've got the uh, traditional setup. You've got to have those walls where Bandit is reinforced and banded up. That is just basic preparation, and you do learn that by playing ranked. So for those of the viewers that are watching, um, just play some unranked or play some ranked every now and then. You'll learn new strats every day. Now, I wonder if we are going to have the Jaeger Roman trophy in the uh, statue, um, along with maybe even the Mozzie Rome. You got smoke holding the same mighty. <sighs> so tired already. It's only seven forty-four. Oh, uh, you do of course have the four-man push through from uh, Fountain. Uh, I wonder if they, yep, they all are going to meet up at Fountain, and of course they're going to go for a little swim. No, nah, I'm joking. They're going to push through Bedroom. You have the uh, Mozzie though in Astra, and Llama has just missed him, which is rather unfortunate. Now, Mozzie does have a C4, though, so I wonder if he is going to try to lob the C up, C4 up. Maybe even get one, maybe even get two. They do have Jaeger on uh, 90, along with Smoke holding the 90, which is rather nice to see. Now, of course, you do have Jaggy holding a really nice angle onto 90. If you see Jaeger peak, he's going to see it. Of course, he's got to watch sight as well, which is to his left. And that is, of course, he has just has two people on each side. And there isn't really much you can do about that. However, Swag and Llama do come back through with the refrags off of them, which is obviously very much needed. Now, of course, what is not good important to see is you do have smoke on the 90, and Llama has seen him. Now, I wonder if Llama is going to go balls deep, as some would say, and just do the repel anyway. Yep, and he does. Maestro does get an unlucky peek on him. That is, of course, Llama just on the repel, which does open straight up into Vault, and there isn't really much you can do about that, unfortunately. And Dan, Dan, Dan does hear him. However... He doesn't get a frag, and Mozzie does get both frags, winning their game, winning their uh, attack round for him. Of course, you do have the Bodo charm there. I do like to see it. It's a very good charm. Now, it's the final attack round for him. Uh, I wonder if they're going to go for the same setup as they did before for Trophy and Statue. Of course, having the Jaeger, Mozzie. I feel like Reapers have found their groove though now though. Like they're playing it a lot smoother, I'd say. And of course, these game get these teams are playing against each other tomorrow in the league they are in together, which is gonna be a very nice scrim to see. <laughs> you got swag there with the thermite, the thermite six pick. They will never suspect it. Now, what is a good thing to notice is that they are switching maps after this to Cafe, which is, uh, I'd, I'd say it's re uh, Quantum's stronger maps, personally. But, you know, who knows? <laughs> now, you've got Mozzie there just drawing the drone. You would, you would have probably kept it if it was me, not going to lie. That intel can become crucial, and I'm a man of a support player. 
which does explain the majority of the things that happen in Siege. Now, I believe it's an all fountain push, which is a. Uh, Obviously, you don't really haven't really seen it yet. This game now. I wonder if they are going to do this just to try and get the frags. You do have Jeggy switching to IQ though. Uh, I wonder if he feels more comfortable with IQ or is just Ash isn't feeling it today. Now, I wonder if Llama and Swag's job is going to be... Is it going to be to push in? I guess it is. There you are. Swag pushing into closet. And he is going to go to get the wall. He does need covering from bathroom, though. Oh, there you are. Do you have a lot of frags there? you got wall bangs pushing into the balcony. Over. I wonder if them two do see each other, though. Look, you have Llama and... The band Jaeger here and Llama does get the kill in Jaeger. However, you do have Maestro sneaking up in bathroom. You've got Dan here, yep, and he does get the kill on Ma Maestro. However, Llama can clutch this, it is still salvageable. He is holding an angle on that door though. Um, however, it might not be a tight enough one. Oh, that is unlucky there. My show is just in cover, avoiding that. And that is unlucky there. Now, of course, we do have Swag on the Malusi Bandit. Tom on the Bandit, which is nice seeing. You do have Dan, of course, on the Smoke. He has been playing Smoke a lot recently, and he's really started to learn how to play with Smoke. Uh, obviously, there is many ways you can play Smoke. However, I feel he's more of a plant denier when he can slow people down and sort of win around for you. Of course, you do have the, the uh, Ace as a hard breach for this. Uh, along with Ash, the typical... The typical player, you can't really go around with Ash, some would say. Now, of course, it is defense. Now, this could just be, yeah, not just any defense. Quantum are very good at defending. They can, they are very good at defending. Um, we've seen them pull games back from defending. Now, I wonder if they can do it today. I'm hoping they can do it today. I feel like it would be a nice, you know, they can pull it back and, you know, they might be able to get in the ribbon enough to maybe even pull the game back to a draw before then going on to the new map. But it is, you know, swap sides and it is a whole new game for people, some would say. Now you do have, of course, you've got the two pushing up to the balcony. Uh, I believe, yep, that is Ace and Twitch. Twitch obviously helping get rid of the bandits and then Ace being the hard breach. However, Ace can also be an entry fragger. Um, the gun that um, he has available is a very good gun. It's a, it's a very, very good gun. you got Swag, of course, and the 90. And that is Jiggy Dam, which is unfortunate to see on the other side of the map. Of course, they're using drones to their advantage. Uh, let's see what Swag's sort of angle is here. So he has got a really nice pixel peak, some a bit 
onto the uh, main balcony. However, he is going to move over to Red Stairs. You've got Tom now holding the angle. Showing off his black ice, which I'm very jealous. Now they are just trying to quick peek each other, and there you are. Sophia just pushing in and, you know, capitalising on the move room they have. It's a 3 3 4 low, and Swag doesn't see the two that are hiding there on 90. Now they, I'd say for Swag to just hold that angle, you know, maybe even get a pick off. Yeah, might be able to capitalize on it. Of course, what is nice to see as well, you also have the Ash below. And you do have the Sophia silently sneaking up there. And you got Smoke, of course, just holding off the breach, slowing them down. And then you had Sophia there just trying to push in and she just couldn't get it, which was rather unfortunate. And Swag there with the double. Now you do have Ash here. Perhaps it's going to sneak onto 90 from top of Red Stairs. Uh, main Stairs, sorry. Yeah, but Ash just manages to sneak in now. I wonder if she's able to sneak into sight, though. Yeah, hey, uh, they haven't got much room here. Let's see what Ash is going to do here. Just push in sight. She gets a frag on Maestro. Doesn't see Malusi. Now sees Malusi. It's now a 1v1. Can dance there. And that is unlucky. Yeah, and that is a win. Right here. Allow my aim. Not my aim. My uh, spelling. All right. It's been a long day. Been a long day. So, of course, you haven't got the debate here. Now, there is, of course, in league games, you're not allowed to scrim um, skins on because they can be a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. And we do have my man Spooky here joining us today. Hello. So, uh, Spooky, what's your what's your uh, uh, opinion on the skins? Uh, di this this uh, disagreement here. Do you think they're in the wrong or? Uh, I haven't really seen if anyone's wearing it. Personally, I don't really care what skins other people use. I think it's their opinion on what skin they want to use, but I suppose some people might not like it. Yeah, I understand why they are moaning, though, to be perfectly honest. It is against the rules, obviously, in league games. But uh, when playing Skyscraper, for example, the other day I had some man, and he had a bright orange skin, and he blended in. I could not see him to save my life. He blended in too well. I think it was a Maverick Elite, actually. Um, so I do see where they're coming from. Um, but yeah, I just wonder how it will play out. Obviously, they are taking their skins off for the next game, which can sort of... Uh, yeah, see what, if that is real. Who had the skins on? Uh, it was Reapers. Uh, or oh, Reaper, sorry. Yeah, start stream on Discord. Oh yeah, sorry. Go change room. Um, stream Discord. Yeah, 
a uh, you got Tom with the frag there on 90. However, there is more there. You got Ash 90 along with one red stairs. Tom with another frag. Tom is popping off. Come on, Tom. He does uh, see an Ash though and he doesn't know that there is one on that window there. Now he does. Well, let's see what Tom's going to do here. It's a 5v2. You do like to see it. And you have Ash there just picking up the frag on the swing there from a Llama. Now you do have Ace just poking in and outside. And there is about to be a conflict here between Ash and Jaeger, I reckon. Oh no, there isn't. Jaeger, run. That is a Nomad gone off though, and Ace is going to use this and push into sight. And there it is. Dan just coming in behind him. Oh, Swag, sorry, with a nice little uh, hole peek there you have, and it is now a 4v1. I wonder how Ash is going to play this though. Yeah, he's got the rotation onto 90, of course. But does he, is he going to see him all there? No, he isn't. Tom with the frag. And Tom with the 3k. Now, uh... Riley, how do you think this play is, this game is going to play on now? Do you reckon they're uh, going to capitalise on that win and it's going to get the momentum to keep winning? or? I think they're going to start to play it a bit more consistently now, start keeping some same, uh, same strategies. Because I, I really don't think they want to lose this high lead. Yeah. Now, they, they do have Cafe after this, though, so uh, they are very strong on Cafe, I must say. Uh, however, I wasn't there to see you make the strats or anything, though, so I can't really say too much about it. Yeah, I think, I think Cafe's a good map and really shows a lot of skill in the game. So I think Cafe's a great pick. Yeah. Right, now I am going to leave you with Riley while I quickly go put my pizza in the oven so my dad doesn't come home and be like, Owen, why have you not eaten? <laughs> Right, so you can see some pretty standard placements from everything here. We have a Malusi, which has been used for most of the game. The team love to use Malusi because she's just a great op. Can you see how she's going to place one on red stairs now? And she's going to be placing one just about everywhere. You can see a Cade being used. I know the team love Cade, and they probably one of their favourite ops for some of them. And we have a smoke as well, which I think uh, Dan can really use to a team advantage. But you see Jaggy on the roam here, playing his vigil. He's just going to be roaming by himself at the moment. I think I can see doing a bit of conflict through the battlefield. I'm not quite sure though. See, there are two players from Reaper's Esports, I believe, on the bottom, or at least just one. I think Vigil knows about this, but I'm not too sure. You see, Nomad's going to be using a rare jab now. They're going to be using a standard office push. Ash is in office now. He's going to walk straight to where Jaggy was. You see two on the side of the building, now wrapping up, I believe. There we go, we've got another player coming into the office right now. We've already walked into the office, it's a jackal walking through vault. He probably will be able to see those vigil footsteps, but I believe they are in some conflict now. I believe he does see the vigil, however, vigil does have that ability, that is an important thing. Vigil's going to be moving around the map to astrology stairs now. Uh, hey, you do see Nomad as well pushing in bar from Tom with the peek and peeking out Nomad. Which is nice to see there from Tom. He has changed as well as a player. He's evolved. He's becoming a lot of better player, which is really nice to see. 
Wall bangs there with the double kill. See Ash is now going to be pushing on site for Chan with the nice smoke. Blocked her from that push. Now that is unfortunate that the attack did just overrun him. Can you supposed to eject for a bit when he's in a gunfight? Yeah? That is the end of the half. Actually, is it? No, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> no, it's six plus six. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, now, we will try to get more uh, gunfights with Jeggy in oh. here. I thought that was the end of the round, man. You see Jeggy with a mozzie now. Gonna see a six pick for Thermite from A. Can we move down the floor? Yep. There you are. Right, that was quick. You just mission a mate, and then I'll be on after. Now, uh, Dan on. wants to go and do his own reinforcements. He's clearly got a bit of a plan here. Uh, yeah, I'd say obviously, you, when defending, you've always got to know what you're doing reinforcement wise because they are very key. Um,. <clears throat> And then the other preparation of site is very key. Obviously, a rotation that isn't in the right rotate right place could lead to an angle for the attackers, which could lead them just right into site. Bombs are going to be playing the exact same spot here once again. Once again, the mozzie now is going to be roaming here. I don't think he's got too much to worry about on that bottom floor, but I can't see too much. Uh, uh, Jeggy does uh, have two yeah. people though, top of a. Uh, he does have some people you. to look for above. He has hit him up. He's taking a lot of damage now, but he saves the other team really. Yes, he, he has slowed him down as well. Yeah, like, he's gonna be wasting some time with that and taking. And that is unfortunate with the C4 that Ash read him like a book. Knew that he could be rotating downstairs to try and get the C4 off. That is unfortunate there from Jeggy though. Jackals once again in the exact same spot as last game. Which seems to work. He's gonna see Lama now. He's going to get taken out straight away. Lama's taken, Lama doesn't have to peek on Sevilla. Lama, with the double Lama's kill. got that double kill now. Here's a 1v3 though. Can Lama clutch it? Yeah. There's one, that's triple. Now is one going to be with 20 HP and the other one's pretty low. It is possible for him to clutch it. And can he do it? This is his final kill for the ace. He's a very low health at the moment. The Nomad obviously got some good advantages. Yeah. Now, of course, you know, she does have to go for the Diffuser, which she does manage to grab. Grabs the Diffuser pretty quickly. Gonna be sitting yeah, here watching these angles. That Jaeger does take a Nomad. Um, I think Nomad realises that they've got to do something. They're gonna go for the plant, will they get it off? That C4. What a C4! Wow, C4 and Llama with the ace, well deserved. Brilliant C4. Lovely ace. Llama with the very nice ace. And you do so love to see it. That one back today. He is, he's gonna be, that one's gonna be stored up in the memories for when he goes to sleep.
I think we're gonna see a couple of different changes for the team now. Yeah, we got Tom's playing with Lucy. Swag on Pulse now. And Jaggy on Jaeger. That is unusual to see, I must say. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't expecting the Pulse pick there. But we're gonna see a bandit swap to mute. Yeah, Pulse swap to mute, so. That is kind of expected, really. Yeah. Pulse is a very good operator, though. Kind of underrated. He is a good operator. But I think in this situation they needed a mute or someone with that ability. Yeah. Gonna be playing first ball now. Bit of a swap up for the team. They still have all the chance in the world to manage to at least get to a uh, one round off a win. Yeah, uh, I think, it I is think a 6 v 6 would be possible. Yeah, it is. That 6v6, six six, of course, is coming in as well, which is quite nice. Most players with quite a nice KD ratio. Or at least assist ratio at the moment. Um, yeah, I'd say. I mean, of course, you have Ash going 13 and 7, um, which obviously is an entry fragger. Yeah. Um, it is kind of expected with that. You have Tom's coming off Jaeger, though. He has switched to Malusi, and then you have Jaeger on Jaeger, um, which is nice to see. Jaeger going back to the Jaeger. Can never go wrong with a Jaeger. Yeah, I believe last time he played a bit of a, he was a Jaeger. Yeah. Now, you, they are above, which is uh, nice to see. Yeah, the whole team pretty much going to be fishing in above. They're going to be looking at those astronomy or astrology, whatever you want to call it, spares. Yeah. And the whole team pretty much is looking in there. Now, uh... Of course, if there was a pulse, the pulse could have been quite useful. It obviously got a couple of C4 kills up here. They are quite close. A bomb has been located. And now you do have Jeggy sneaking up, though. Jeggy's going to be holding those stairs right now, but he's going to dip back down to basement. There's the Rainer. That's what he does best. You have Ash following him, though. However, Jeggy has Pete. Beat her back up. It's a 2v5 at the moment. And but there we do it know is. that Dan and Jaggy are perfectly capable. We were clutch, but I think the Smoke trying to clutch this could be tough. Uh, that's very much doable. Obviously, Smoke is an operator that is used to kind of slow down these sort of pushes. So, you know, it can work very well. And look, you do have three of them here trying to melee. And that is unfortunate yeah, there. A lot of damage off of Zofia, but he is going to get shot. Yeah. And there you are. You've got Sophia, of course, with a nice PSM charm. I think I don't know a Sophia player that doesn't have that charm. It, um, skin it is a very nice skin. Now, what it does make me wonder is, if they uh, was using skins that they are allowed, do you reckon this game would be any different, Riley? Uh, I'm honestly not too sure. You can't tell unless you see it. I think the skins wouldn't help too much in theory, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, we're not seeing it from a player's point of view. That is a key thing to mention. Yeah, we can't see what the team can see. So maybe, it might yeah. make a difference. You just but never know, it could make the slightest of difference, which could lead to a win. Yeah. And of course, rules are rules, and they are the rules of the league, so you know, they've got to be kept too. Yeah, I think if you are going to introduce these double standards, it's just not worth it. Yeah. So, now, the 6v6, how would, how would you rate it so far? 
Um, this is the first sort of 6v6 six six I've actually seen, to be honest. I've heard of it, but I haven't actually seen it been played. So how, how would you say it is, Riley? Uh, it's been okay. I think the teams are both probably loving it. And uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just a nice little thing to do. Yeah. I mean, it is, of course, a game's a game. So, you know... Uh, they're just very nice, lucky to play, I guess. Their main, so Swag, uh, Quantum's team that we're meant to come up against today, they did actually cancel on them uh, while their players dropped out. So this is kind of a last minute scrim, but, you know, a scrim's a scrim. You yeah? know, you get, you get to play a video game. What what else can you like? And then I see this time we're going to see a different play from Jackal. Instead, he's not going to the office now. Let's see how Jiggy's good players, of course. The drones cannot see him. And that is unfortunate there. Ash just beat, be, beating him in a peak. Which it's, is unlucky. It's very, it is unlucky, but this could be a bad thing for the team here. Considering their owner, or one of their owners is gone and there's two minutes left. I wouldn't say it is. I'd say that um, it's very much... It, a double kill now. I'd, I'd say that uh, Quantum have dealt with this in the past, and they can capitalise yeah. on it. They're just going to have to work away hard. Sam's playing in his usual vault spot. That is unusual. That is unlucky there. It did take out one of the team, but now it's a 2v4 and the diffuser is planted. Let's see what Swag's going to play and let's see what you can see. And there it is. That is unlucky. Right. No, that is the half player. Um, nice time. Now, we are going to have a five minute break, I'm guessing. Yeah. Now, let's leave this. Right, uh, now we are going to go up to 